All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing, and if you haven't already. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel, but most importantly, as always, welcome to the Viking family. So, I'm finally getting to this. This is my review slash uh, opinion for the 2023 Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania, a.k.a. Ant-Man 3. So, here is the plot of this particular Marvel film. Ant-Man and the Wasp find themselves exploring the quantum realm, interacting with strange new creatures, and embarking on an adventure that pushes them beyond their limits. Now, here is the cast. Now, the design of this world was a little hard to get past because of how weird, but also gross at times it was. Uh, the comedy was a little stale, but did have some super funny scenes towards the end. However, there was two scenes with an evil character that was just so cringe. Even the design was just stupid in my opinion, and I believe people have been mocking it all over the internet. Which is fine, I don't normally agree with that, or care, but yeah, I kind of have to agree with him on this one. Now, Kane the Conqueror was a cool villain. From my understanding, he is more powerful and dangerous than Thanos. Um, just to be clear, I am not big on Marvel lore, so um, or information of the comics. So let me know in the comments below if that's true. But if so, I feel they played uh, him down somewhat. Which is disappointing, to be honest. Um, apparently he was introduced in Loki Season 1. Let me know if that is true. Because I do feel like I'm missing part of his lead up to the story um, in the film. And also kind of one of the... I won't give it away, but one of the end credit scenes also as well. Kind of, I just was confused. Now, the story wasn't bad, wasn't perfect, though, in my opinion. Either way, I had a fun time. Honestly, I don't understand the hate for this film. Was it perfect? Again, no. Was it as super bad that it should bomb? No. I think it just has a lot of... There's a lot of other issues going on with the Marvel Universe at this point that people are starting to get a bit tired of it and bias and you know all that stuff and then you got the bomb the, the review bombs and stuff but you know here's my rating though and I'll give come back my thoughts all right again wasn't a bad film in my opinion at least um, it was a fun film. It was pretty cool. Didn't focus so much heavily on the uh, kind of cringy comedy. Again, there were some funny parts to it. Um, but would I say that this is in my top 10 Marvel films? Not really. Um, not even Ant-Man 1, which I actually really liked, was in, wasn't in the my top 10 but you know there's so many marvel films even before the mcu universe started that uh, or there were some like blade and stuff that you know there's just too much to actually put into a top 10 all of them because there's like what 20 some films 30 some films at this point i don't know i lost track and then you have the show so um but yeah i i thought this was a really cool uh and good uh uh film for what it was um you know, honestly, at this point, I don't inspect much, so that could be also it. But, yeah, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Um, what am I going to do next? I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I'm planning on doing something this weekend. What I don't know at this point. Um, I'll have to figure out, get everything set up, But um, as you know. Um, but uh, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Hit the bell icon. Hit the like button. Again, Hopefully you subscribed. If not, that's cool. Thank you for checking out the channel. But remember, again, I love you all no matter what. Please stay safe. Spread the love. Skull.